35 years ago, Captain Howard Van Every joined the Six Nations Fire Service and has since become the longest serving member in the history of the department. Well, a chief come to my house and asked me if I wanted to join. So I said, uh, I can give it a try. So we went. He said, okay, here's a pager, charger. We'll go down to the station one in, in that old green building there. Get a coat, a pair of boots, and a helmet. And uh, I'll get you a pair of rubber gloves, he said. No other firefighter in the history of the Six Nations Fire Service has been so feared and equally respected by all of his peers. Howie Van Avery. Um, I remember going out to tons of car fires and Howie would be on shift and he'd be like, here, take this hose and go put that out. Oh, okay. Didn't really have any training. He'd just tell me, go, go do that. All right. Wouldn't think twice about it. Great guy. A lot of knowledge. I knew Howard was a 35-year veteran. He, uh, he definitely has that air of an authoritative figure when he speaks, uh, especially in fire. You can see his, uh, his mannerisms change because he knows exactly what he's talking about and he knows exactly what he means and has uh, his 35 years of experience. Uh, it's hard to argue with and you can't, you can't argue with it, so you might as well just listen. I do have one story, and uh, it was when I very first, we, I just started, I was a new recruit, I was a probie, and we were at MLAC, and uh, I was on the nozzle, one and a half, and uh, I uh, wasn't paying attention or something, I'm not even sure, it happened so fast. I was on the nozzle, and I opened it up, and I kind of lost my footing, and I fell on the ground and on my back, just like a little turtle. And I spun around once really fast and Howard was right beside me and uh, he was training me and he grabbed me by the scuff of the back of my bunker coat and whipped me up just as fast as I fell and <laughs> we both stood there and looked at each other and we just start laughing. So that's part of the department being on a, being a firefighter is they always got your back. So <laughs> uh, I was on the department probably for about a year had a couple of car fires under my belt and responded to a car fire uh, with Howie and uh, Howie was on scene. Uh, I was on the hose line and uh, I was putting the car fire out and Howie took the nozzle away from me and while he did it he uh, yelled at me saying you're supposed to put the fire out and not wash the car and I walked away with my tail between my legs. <laughs> Howard's the kind of captain I can go to ask questions. I know he's got the most experience and he's, he'll, he'll be truthful with me. I'll go to him to ask him, how did I do on this call? What could I have done better? He'll, he'll tell me, well, you did all right. Could have did this, could have did that. So Howard's the kind of guy that I'll go to to ask for advice and for criticism. boy! congratulations and hopefully we have a lot more personnel like him. Congratulations, Howard, on 35 years. If I can only have half that career, I'll consider myself successful. I just want to congrats on uh, Howie there, Howie, Captain Howie Van Avery, for his 35 years of service. Yeah, been on a long time, and it's been an honor working with you. Congratulations, Howard, for serving 35 years here. Glad to see that you're still here and helping all of us out. Congratulations, Howard. You've been a part of the department for 35 years, a long time doing this job. Uh, I've learned quite a lot, quite a lot from you from the past nine years, so thank you very much. Congratulations, Howie, on 35 years. You're awesome. 